Out of all the types of people that are found on the internet, there is a very particular group of individuals who interest me greatly because of their ignorant claims about the world and how far they will go to defend their beliefs. After all, it is the internet, uninformed opinions are very welcome here. The people I'm talking about are so-called flat earthers who seem to be living in the dark ages if you ask me. Flat earthers very certainly believe that the earth is indeed a flat disk floating in space and not around sphere as we are told by organizations such as NASA. These people exist in the 21st century. Wake up sheeple, NASA is a lie, they're all lies. Commonly denied scientific facts by these people are the humans went to space, the humans landed on the moon, that satellites exist, that we have pictures and videos of outer space, and that gravity exists. Yes, I'm absolutely serious. The force that is keeping us stuck to the ground and not floating around in a groovy manner, what's keeping us in orbit around the sun, and what's keeping the moon in orbit around us. It's not, it's not real, people. Grow up. Since the dawn of time, cultures have believed in the flat earth, and it is understandable. With lack of technology and scientific knowledge at the time, ignorance about the world we live in was fairly common in those days. However, you'd think that we'd have all grown out of it by now, with all this fancy space stuff we have and all this technology to prove things, but no. I mean, the Greek philosopher Pythagoras first proposed that the Earth is a sphere around 500 BC. You realize how long ago that is, right? Not only that, but another philosopher called Aristotle, might have heard of him, made observations in the night sky about constellations and how they change position as you move near to the equator, and based on these observations, he concluded that the Earth was a sphere. Altogether, you know what this means? It means that it's been known that the Earth is round and not flat since the time of the ancient Greeks. Ferdinand Magellan, an explorer from Portugal, even did the circumnavigation of the Earth in 1522. Which shouldn't even be explained at all with the Flat Earth model. I mean, how can you end up on the other end of the Earth like he did? Oh wait. Modern Flat Earthers have come up with a different model that puts the North Pole in the center and the South Pole on the edge of the disk. And it completely explains Magellan's journey and even commercial airline flight paths. Oh, that's convenient. I'm fairly certain they just remodeled the Flat Earth as many times as it takes to find a way around scientific evidence. Of course, Flat Earthers commonly tell us to deny the evidence that we should not believe in that's put forth by the government. Ah, those liars. Some of this evidence is the shape of the Earth's shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse. Solar eclipses, I don't know how those would happen on the Flat Earth. Measuring the Earth's circumference using the shadow of sticks. Observing the other planets that are around with a goddamn telescope that anyone could buy. I mean, it seems to me that telescopes wouldn't be so widely available if it was actually a big secret to hide. And why would the Earth be flat if all the other planets were round anyway? It doesn't make any sense. Considering that objects such as Mercury, Ceres and Pluto that are smaller than the Earth, and even the Moon, are still round. And you know, why don't you take a look at the goddamn livestream from the International Space Station and see for yourself. Oh wait, they're fake videos. They're green screens. Wake up sheeple. Looking around websites such as YouTube and Reddit, it astonishes me just how many results there are when you search Flat Earth. The amount of videos with clickbaity titles such as Video, there is no planet called Mars, Pluto, the Earth is flat, period, North and South Pole don't exist. And posts you'll find with supposed evidence of the Flat Earth is very worrying. There is even two subreddits dedicated to the Flat Earth and I've got no bloody clue if either of them are serious or satirical. I don't care either way. What's even more worrying is the like-dislike ratio in these videos. Sometimes it's mostly disliked when there are enough same people that watch it. Other times there are more likes than dislikes, which is just very bizarre to me. The comments on some of these videos are even weirder. The people who write these comments seem to be certified pseudoscientists and or classic tinfoil hat wearers who know exactly what they're talking about. N no, seriously, I don't know what the hell these people are on. You know, if I had enough money, I'd do whatever I can to get those people into space to prove to them that their beliefs are based on complete pseudoscience and it's all complete crap. Actually, forget it, I just get them a psychoanalysis test instead. Alright, I'm not sure if this guy is being serious. If he isn't, then this is hilarious. Here are some nice examples of videos. This comedian does a very disturbing Yoda impression while talking about green screens used in space footage, not only proving that the Earth is flat, but also that he's never seen a movie with green screen effects. All official spacewalk footage is also fake and filmed underwater. Analysis of many interior videos from the International Space Station have shown the use of camera tricks such as green screens, harnesses, and even wildly permed hair. This guy is very confident, almost too confident, so my faith in humanity is a little more restored when I look at his like-dislike ratio. I don't care what the established belief is, I don't care what we were all taught, so don't bring me any of that stupid gravity bullshit that doesn't work and number one it's impossible uh, number two it can't be shown to be true uh, you're telling me the same force that keeps my feet glued to the earth's surface also keeps the moon in orbit around the earth 
and same thing that keeps us in orbit around the sun. That right there makes no sense. How does it, why aren't I orbiting the earth? Do I need to get fatter? If I get real fat like the moon, then I can orbit the earth or somebody needs to help me with that one. I don't get it. So don't bring that kind of stuff. Bring some actual evidence and stuff that we can actually test. As you can see by what he says, he's so confident in his findings that gravity doesn't even make sense to him. I just, I, I don't even know how to respond to that. He, he got me. The evidence is there. Fat people don't orbit the Earth like the moon does, so the Earth is flat, wake up sheeple! Joking aside, it baffles me how he thinks that just because his mind cannot grasp how gravity works and most likely doesn't comprehend the mathematics to describe it, he tries to invalidate all the evidence for gravity. I mean, I'm not saying that I understand all the mathematics that describe gravity, but that scientists spend decades trying to figure it all out and come up with models of how it works, and this guy can't understand it, therefore it makes no sense and it's not real evidence. And what about this video? Bible versus the proof of flat earth. What? And then we have the mastermind of all masterminds. The genius of the internet. Eric Dubai. 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 I don't know. Eric owns his own website that looks like it was made on Weebly. A YouTube channel where he states that he lives in Thailand and teaches yoga. Yes. Yoga. Yeah people, we really need to listen to this guy. And he even has a goddamn book on Amazon with freaking 4 out of 5 stars in a review. Oh my god. Here are some very well thought out reviews in this book by the way. God read, uh, very hard to believe that the earth is flat. Seems obvious NASA are telling a few lies. Does this mean they're hiding the flat earth? I don't know. After reading this book, I'm still on the fence. On a side note, I watched most of his bit online and I'm now a full-on vegetarian. Wake up world, the truth is not what it seems. Great read, tell everyone. Great book, lots of it's on YouTube, but still a great truth that needs to be brought out. Excellent book with a lot of good info to debunk the heliocentric worshippers. Having recently devoured much intriguing online contents on this fascinating topic, I was really looking forward to scratching the surface going deeper, if only to attempt to reduce the recent levels of personal rather uh, the book was relevant to the point that's range relevant and interesting. <sighs> Even your family, especially children, should read this before educational indoctrination takes hold. Everybody should be compelled to read this. It's a slam dunk. Fans speak propaganda every time if you're prepared to open your mind. Globalism only exists to control you, steal from you, and treat you with disdain. Eric Doobie B is one flat earther that presents verifiable facts without the need to go off in a frolic of speculation. There will always be those who can't admit that they've been conned and lied to, but once you can, you'll be free of the daily ration of BS. Can I just mention this one review that gives it 4 stars and says, a good laugh. <laughs> I like that one. The same view, all of the earth looks flat from here, must be flat guys is the most ridiculous thing said by someone that doesn't understand basic geometry because curved surfaces appear straight really close up. And if you haven't noticed, the Earth is very big and you are very small. Therefore, you can see the Earth only very close up. Yes, that's how it works. What gets me most about Mr. Dubebe is not his ridiculous arguments. It will quickly and directly fall straight to the ground. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with gravity. The fact that light things rise up and heavy things fall down is simply a natural property of weight and density. Now this arrogance and how certain he is. Therefore, if a ship's hull is 10 feet above the water, it will disappear from the unaided eye at 3000 times 10 feet, or 6 miles. This has nothing to do with the supposed convexity or curvature of the earth, and everything to do with the common law of perspective. But his voice, he sounds like he's dying the entire time he speaks, it's, it's just depressing. East or westbound circumnavigation can just as easily be performed on a flat plane as it can on a globular sphere. Just as a compass can place its center point on a flat piece of paper and trace a circle either way around the pole, so can a ship or plane circumnavigate a flat earth. Marvin the paranoid android sounds less depressed than him. I tried watching his 200 proofs that the earth is not a spinning ball video, and it just comes off as, well, insane. He doesn't actually use any proof to justify his view, and relies entirely on his personal feelings, and everything he says is completely unsupported. I honestly do not know what kind of person you have to be to believe anything this guy says. He's like those fanatical preachers that you see on TV. 
He won't even take any words from a scientist who has right to justify his or her views that are supported by scientific evidence and experiments and tests that have been carried out multiple times. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with gravity. The fact that light things rise up and heavy things fall down is simply a natural property of weight and density. And here, Mr. Dobby claims that weight is very different from gravity, which makes me think he's never even stood on a scale or dropped anything before. This is called gravity. And then there's this guy, who just baffles me. They're stealing your money and showing you cartoons and CGI while they steal your money. There is no space. All the planets that they're showing us are fucking CGI. There is no outer space to go to. Use your eyes you were created with to look at them. I mean, just buy a bloody telescope for God's sake. Spend a hundred pounds and see the damn planets for yourself. You think space doesn't exist? What the hell is this crap that we see in the sky all night? A giant painting? A hologram? Just look at the damn ISS with a telescope. Just get one of those big tubular things with lenses on them, and you can prove that satellites and outer space exist just by spending a hundred pounds. Well done! What's that Flat Earth Reddit user? Other planets or disks as well? Well, it just amazes me that all these disks happen to be facing us directly when we see them making them all appear circular and not turn sideways in some way to look like an oval. What a coincidence, eh? This flat earth stuff has even spread to damn celebrities. B.O.B., the notorious rapper, has tweeted his view on the flat earth and the physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has mocked him multiple times on Twitter, but of course the best response that B.O.B. can give us is grow up. I think he needs to go back to school, people. One day, we'll look up to B.O.B. He'll prove us wrong and we'll know that he is the flat earth hero that the world deserves, but not the one it needs. Wake up sheeple, the evidence is all there! Maybe if they actually applied real life science to their claims it would have been believable. It would have at least provoked us people to think. Questioning the human existence is a provocative thing and I'm ready to change my mind if a new scientific theory is developed and it shows further evidence. Although I'm fairly sure that thinking is not a skill possessed by flat earthers, so then provoking someone else to think seems very, very unlikely to me. Don't forget, gravity doesn't exist. What even is underneath the so-called disk? Why aren't there any pictures of the edge? What is even the point of keeping it a secret? Why would we be all told that it's not a disk and instead be fed this round earth nonsense? NASA spends billions of dollars every year, so saying that they do it for money isn't relevant. You have no reason to pour so many resources and develop so much technologies to explore a universe and find the nature of outer space had they simply lied to the whole world to prevent us sheeple from knowing the truth. These are all questions that will never be answered, but we can all try anyway, eh? As crazy as those people are, it's still fascinating to me to read about their theories and how these people think and just try to understand their minds and their reasons, because they make no sense, but, you know, as crazy or as messed up or as weird I might be, it still makes me feel better that these people don't believe in gravity or space and, in fact, write stuff on the internet and take themselves seriously. <sighs> Well, I better end the video now. I've got more Mr. Dubé to watch to prove to me why gravity doesn't exist. Well, that was a, a new type of video that I try to do. It's the first time I've scripted something and not just said anything and improvised it or have notes. Because with this topic, I've actually got to think before I speak about it. So, you know, it's, it's a lot better to prepare everything. And, well, whatever. I hope you enjoy the people. We've got more movie review things coming up. So, subscribe and whatever.